Good afternoon, my name is Staff Sergeant Bernie, uh, first name Kevon. Um, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm currently attending the Force Fitness Instructor course. I'm a martial arts instructor trainer. Um, I have my bachelor's degree in health and wellness, master's degree in exercise science, and I'm currently pursuing my PhD in health and human performance. Uh, next one is gonna be the ammo can deadlift. Deadlift is kind of squatty, meaning that he's using his legs. He's kind of bending at the waist too much. Uh, for him to do a proper hinge, he needs to bend more at the waist and not so much at the knees because it's turning from being a deadlift to being an ammo can squat, but not too bad. His core is remaining tight, stable base, good posture. Uh, they're showing us from a different angle, not too bad. He just needs to hinge a lot more, uh, maybe open up his feet just a little bit. He does have a narrow base, but he do have the ammo cans on the outside. His knees are going outward just a little bit. Try to maintain posture, keep his knees going to the front. Try to align and make his knees go over his toes. Uh, once again, deadlift looks kind of squatty. You need to hinge a little bit more, meaning less bend at the knees and try to use his back to lift it up if he's working on a deadlift and not a squat. All right, ammo can deadlift. Whole purpose of this is to strengthen the core muscles, mainly the ones in the lower back, and they're also stabilizing the core in front. And you go down, get to the good hinge, and then once you get to a point where you can no longer hinge anymore, then you'll bend at the knees to pick the weight up, get the weight up, come back up as you're executing the movement, head and spine neutral. Go down as far as you can where you pull in your hamstrings and then your glutes, and then come back up.